our next comedian uh, is a friend very near and dear to my heart, very funny man, uh, Mr. Scott Peep. Mr. Scott Peep. <laughs> I've never been accused of being a very smart man. I'll give you an example. Uh, I used to think that if you were caught in the act of infidelity, that made you an infidel. <laughs> I used to think that binary was a sexually curious canary. <laughs> but all that said, I'm still pretty sure that dude ranch is another term for cowboy jizz. <laughs> I'm a big fan of five hour energy, even though they're sending us mixed signals. We've all seen the commercials where they're like, need to get through the day? Five hour energy, it's like a pick me up in a bottle. You're like, sounds good, you go buy one, and on the label, there's a dude not getting through the day. He's running, uphill. He's mountain sprinting. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't want that much energy, man. I, don't, I, I just need to cram for a test. I don't want to be this guy in five hours at the top of a mountain like, whoo, man, I don't even know how I got up here. I just need to cram for a test. I'm pretty sure I came three times on the way up. Go, get up, fire, I'm going to save that baby. <laughs> five hour energy. It's like a blowjob from a hurricane. <laughs> Should be their slogan. Um, so I went to this doctor one time. And he told me the funniest thing. He said, Mr. Peavy, you are not the ideal weight for your height. <laughs> okay, well, I was shocked. He said, you can use this chart right here to do the math, figure out what you should be. So I looked at the chart. I looked at him. I said, wait, so you're telling me, you're saying I should be nine feet tall. <laughs> this guy. So he told me I need to be on a health bar diet. For a year. So for one year, I ate health bars. Went back to see him, and I got worse news. Not only had I gained weight, but apparently I have a fourth grade reading level. I've been eating Heath bars the whole time. Oh my God. So I was depressed, and I did what I always do when I'm depressed to go to Taco Bell. Yeah. And I saw that they have uh, the. Doritos Logos Tacos now in Nacho Cheese and Cool Ranch. And they have their own slogan for that. Collect all two. I have, I have a few issues with this. Uh, first off, there's already a word for that. It's both. Uh, second, nobody collects food. You know, what am I going to do? Take them home and put them on the shelf next to my Wendy's Frosty and my Arby's? Curly seasoned curly fries, still in original packaging. <laughs> but also, uh, two is not much of a collection. I mean, by the time you get home, you've already ate them, and you got to start the collection back over. Uh, so six straight months of this, I now have a new collection. I've collected all two types of diabetes. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if there is a type three diabetes, but I do know that I'm working on it. <laughs> I mean, so what, I'm fat. At least I'm not, I'm not a mongoloid. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm handsome fat. Yeah. I'm like a fat Russell Crowe. <laughs> or a skinny John Goodman, if that's what you're into. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I really need to work on more uh, self-deprecating humor. Um, but I don't know, I guess I'm just too stupid. <laughs> oh. Some of you got that. Uh, okay, so I want to end on this. Um, anybody like impressions? I like some impressions. Oh, good. Rough quality. Excellent. Um, I like to do, uh, uh, I love movies and I love celebrities, so I do a few celebrity impressions. I got a three pack of celebrity impressions for you, okay? So let's pretend, like I like to do, that uh, certain movies, uh, certain actors were in movies they were in and roles they didn't get. And uh, one of my favorite movies is Castaway. And I love to pretend that, um, you know, it had Tom Hanks in it. Remember the scene at the end where he's escaping the island with his volleyball, Wilson, and Wilson's floating away. Tom Hanks says, Wilson! What if it wasn't Tom Hanks, though? What if it had been Christopher Walken? 
I think he'd go, Wilson, no. <laughs> yeah. No, Wilson, come back, Wilson. I can't swim that far, Wilson. You know how he likes to go off script. Wilson, you know what? Go, it's fine. You're a terrible conversationalist, Wilson. And I've been cheating on you with a coconut. That's one. That's one. Number two. Uh, another another favorite movie of mine, 300, uh, where Gerard Butler played Leonidas. But I like to pretend, what if it wasn't Gerard Butler? What if it was instead acclaimed film actor, Christopher Walken? <laughs> <laughs> Spartans, tonight, we're gonna dine in hell, maybe. I don't know. The future is so uncertain. It's two. Right. Thank you. Calm down, please. <laughs> Lastly, another favorite movie of mine, maybe my favorite movie, The Dark Knight. Heath Ledger played the Joker, he was so awesome. But there's lots of creepy characters who could have played the Joker. I like to pretend it was Christopher Walken. <laughs> want to know how I got these scars. I caught myself flossing. It's got a heel spine. <laughs> listen, listen, Batman. <laughs> listen, Batman. I seen your show in the 60s. Very funny, hilarious, colorful. Now, it's so serious. Batman, why? Why so grim, Batman? Why so somber? Why so pensive, Batman? Why so businessman-like? So contemplative, Batman? I'm sorry, I got the source my birthday for the grandkids. The question, Batman, why are you so austere? <laughs> You guys have been awesome. I'm Scott Beebe. Please look us up online. Please look us up online. Have a good night. Thank you. 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 Thank